Hello time travelers! In this video, I have to take apart a window AC and clean its heat exchanger coil, I think? I don't know. Hold on! I'll show you what's going on. Alright, I got a real issue, guys. My window AC is messed up. It's not blowing cold air anymore. It's just kind of cooler than what the air is on the inside. Hold on, let me show you what I mean. There's my thermostat. It's 86 in the house. And apparently that's the same temperature that it is outside. Lame! Hey, future slash editing me here. Just a brief interruption. For those viewers who came here just to see how to do this, I've chaptered the video so you can skip right to it. Either hover your mouse over the little scrub bar where you change where you want to move the video to and it's got little text telling you the different sections of the video. Or you can go into the doobly-doo description what's it thing and... Just click the ones you want. Go to that section and watch that part of the video. So we go over to the window I see. And I have it set. Focus normal! Okay, to 72. Let's see how much the temperature is coming out. 60, okay, 63 is yeah, that's pretty good. It feels like 75 though. What if I point it right there? See, 80. 79. I had to turn the miner off because of this. And I had to turn the other miner off because of this. It's too freaking hot! Even though in this room, I have that window AC going. But this is a newer one. And it is this. 59. 49 degrees coming out. I don't even need that to show you this. Can I show you this? How do I turn the light? Because reasons? Oh yeah. Me were on camera light. Link in description. I can't show you. I looked in here yesterday. Ah, it won't let me show. Wait, imagine how this is supposed to look like. The other side is supposed to look like that, but it just looks like a black wall of ickiness. The following images may not be suitable for people with sensitive eyeballs. Viewer discretion is advised. So this is what biomatter looks like. Some random picture off the internet I will find in the future probably. And I expected to see that in there, but no. See, I expected to see, oh, this funny little biomass trying to make this own biosphere community in there. But no, what I saw, it just is way beyond that. And they've long left that planet to live on other planets. And they've had apocalypses since then. And this is the dead charred remains of their bio past. You'll see. But there's a problem. Dun, dun, dun. This screw, I can't unscrew to get the, the top off. Because this is supposed to come off. I got this off yesterday when I was just inspecting it. But I couldn't get this one screw off. So which means I have to fucking remove this from the window. At least for a minute and then put it back. <sighs> no. Focus! Focus on what I'm looking at right, right, right there. You won't focus. Okay. This is the other problem. I sealed all around here with... Focus, Jeremy Krupa. With, like, the weather sealing caulk that you use for windows. So I'm gonna have to, like, pop that seal, and that makes me angry. Off. Sticking your arm down in the, the deep reaches of the unknowns and unplugs it. <coughs> Safety wants. <coughs> Struggle face noises. <coughs> Toss. That was not funny, Bone. Unscrew it out, unscrew it out. 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 Now if you're doing this, you're probably gonna wanna put on some gloves. Yes, but only maybe. Cause you probably, you, know, you don't really need it. You're gonna make sure you're not wearing anything that could get messed up by bleach. I'll show you why in a second. This would probably get messed up by bleach, but you know, I want to cover myself up a little bit because reasons. Now I have to go like this to get to my recipe. Link in the description for this cleanup stuff. Oh wait, this thing's full of cobwebs. Warning, the images that you see in the next moment may be too icky for sensitive eyeballs. <laughs> there was the spider. <laughs> it's like a horror movie where they give you these fake scares until the real scare that happens later. Rinse it out! Rinse it out! 
And hopefully three gallons of water fit in here because that's what I'm supposed to be getting. That's what the recipe says. Recipe. That's what the instructions say. Gallons of water that go in the thing. Gallons of water that go in the thing. There's three whole gallons of water that have to go in the thing. So I'm wearing the gloves, which recommended, not necessary in the apron because I don't know. And another optional professional equipment accessory is Mad Scientist goggles. For no reason. One gallon. Second gallon. You know what? This bucket's getting kind of full. I don't know. I don't even think I want to carry around a three gallon bucket. You know what I mean? I mean, just look at it. Look at it. So that means I gotta do freaking math. So it's a half a cup of bleach. And we're only two and two thirds of the thing. So 0.5 divided by three times two. So a third of a cup of a bleach. One third. Bleachy time. Give it a good stir. What else do I need, Sky? One tablespoon of mild dish soap. I know what that is. That's two teaspoons. It is two thirds of a tablespoon. Come here, Dawn. You're in this scene. One. Splishy splash. Two. Give that a stir round. Now I'm just gonna go set that outside. With some stuff to scrub it and scrape it with. Duh. I just realized this is not a job for just one person. It needs two people. <sighs> Other me. Other me. Where are you? Other me. Oh, what's up? Okay, 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 okay. What's up with the mowing the lawn pants and this is all this get up actually. We need to take the window AC apart a little tiny bit and clean out all the biomatter gook that's been building up over the years. Oh snap. So what I need you to do is wait for me to get on the outside and yell, okay. And then you open the window and bring it in a tiny bit. And there's two screws on the bottom of the outside and unscrew those and put those in your pocket. That doesn't seem like a big deal. Okay, go for it. All right, here we go, maybe. Oh, I can't get in here with all of Charlie's old toys when he was younger in the way. Get out of here, Charlie's toys. You're not in this scene. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he seems to be handling this all on his own. That wasn't so hmm. bad. Maybe I didn't need two people to do this after all. Now, where's the screwdriver? Probably don't have a good angle on this, but maybe regular me will show you what I'm doing later. Other side. Puts it back. All right, that's what he did. He got out the impossible screw. Now I'm gonna take out this one and those two on both sides. You know, I could have done this like on a day off so I can be out here when there's more light so I can see what I'm freaking doing. But the temperature's going down. So it's kind of nice out here right now. You know, I could be out here in the, the 91 degrees they're like, these are record highs, blah, 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 weather people. Well, I'll tell you something. I've been in Ohio for a little while, for a couple years at least. A couple. I don't know, time lords, we don't keep track of time the same way. For me, it was like 50 years. Anyways, it's been 91 before in the summer. Record highs. Web of lies. Trying to get people hyped up over something on the news. Okay, all the screws, roughs. Does this want to come off? Hmm. Got all the way. Someone in the comments yell at me and, and, and tell me how wrong I'm doing it. Besides not taking it out of the window to do this. Okay, I should take it out of the window to do this. Hey, if you're enjoying the video so far and you'd like to help me out, clicking the like button down below, it, it does a lot for the YouTube algorithms and what's it. D don't worry, just trust me. It, it helps my, my video, it helps the channel. So you need a flat, smooth surface, and you want to remove any uh, sensible, scalable, precious, I don't know, whatever objects, so you don't destroy them. And then you need an old towel. Because 
An old towel has the power of old, apparently. And then super carefully, get your window AC unit. It puts it on the table without breaking your back. Come, come here, cable. Don't get caught on anything. You're in this scene. That just happened. And then move your camera because blah, 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 blah. And then lift the top cover off, says the internet. It might be blocked by all of this. So let's see. Oh, these side things have to come off too. Well, I'm using a marker to, to mark where they go. How far in each side goes. See? I marked it. What? I thought you were gonna do it in the window. You hush. Whatever, dude. You hush your nugget. Are there screws on the bottom? I don't remember. Nope, but my stupid cock is holding it so it won't come off. <coughs> Struggle face noises. <coughs> Dot com, the website. And I bet you this is part of the top too, so that screw's gonna have to come out later. Slicey dicey. Oh, here we go. That wasn't so bad, sort of. Actually, but no. It's definitely not the right kind of knife for that. Let's use a paring knife. I thought you needed the mad scientist goggles for the mad scientist shenanigans. I'll put it back on later. You better. That's what made this episode cool. Toss somewhere safely. Come out, thingy. Stop being perma-sealed by my genius perma-seal method. Oh, you do that, and then it slides sideways. If it wasn't perma-sealed. I'm thinking of not perma-sealing it again when I put it back. You know what? That can just dingle dangle there for all I care. And when I put it back together, it goes back on with it. Because I don't want to go insane. Come out, screw. Move on to, to the other side. Move on to, move on to, move on to. Safety once, put that down first. Second first is same as the first. Slicey dicey. These screws thought they were permanent. And they were for about almost three years. They're not permanent anymore. <laughs> Two more screws. Shut up, I didn't say anything. Whatever. That probably could have stayed on. Oh well. Freaking top want to come off yet? Because freaking. I'd rather rebuild a computer right now. I'd rather rebuild a computer. Is the bezel stuck on it? Ew. If any of you were asking, well, maybe did you check the front filter? I cleaned this like a month ago, but it's full of grayness. Yuck. And that's kind of dirty in there too. Wait, I got a gap started right there. That comes out. Okay, there's only two screws for the front thing. Come off, thing! I don't remember what order I put it together in. Wait a second, why am I saying I don't remember what order I put it together in? It came assembled! I just put the side, they look like wing things on. Come apart, you jerk. They don't want you to do maintenance on things. That's why we need more laws for right to repair. Oh, this might be coming. It's gotta be something to do with the front. The front's being a jerk. Ah! Look what happens. Why, why are you not going? And I'm like, screw you, guy. You are being removed. That's the point of this video. Warning, the following scene is totally gross and inappropriate and scary for some eyeballs. A viewer discretion is advised. Actually, for real this time, they were just fake scares earlier. Get in there, light. I need you in this scene. Deep down there, in the darkness, you should be seeing this 
like a radiator grill looking thing, but you don't. You see a fuzzy crustiness of evil. Oops. Looks like now you're dropping stuff. I guess I pulled the Linus. I'm thinking if I could somehow get this off, I can clean in there. Now I'm looking at it like, what a freaking stupid idea to think that you could have done this outside. Why do you have to go against the instructions written by somebody else who's more experienced than you and be like, nah, I don't need to do all that. <clears throat> I think we both need to lift at the same time. Just be careful that we don't touch or you'll glitch and there's a possibility this gigantic heavy thing will fall on the floor. All right, let's try it. <clears throat> Where's those other me? Oh, there's still a screw in there. <clears throat> other me's fine. That happens sometimes. He's in my head, so I don't even know why he can be filmed, so don't ask me how that works. Hey, if you're enjoying my shenanigans and my goofy sense of humor, a subscribe really helps out the channel. And that way it promotes my videos to you again in the future if there's a subject that YouTube thinks you'll like to see. Or if you change the, the click the bell and then you hit all, it notifies you about every video. And then you can just decide which ones you want to watch. Watch all of them. Why are you not going? I already said that line. I want to get in there and clean the thing. Maybe I can just go and past it and scrub it. Oh, that works. I scraped it and look what came out. This is the scary stuff. This is the post-apocalyptic remains of biomatter or Actually, this just looks like dust. What am I talking about? I'm talking stupid talk. Come here, trash. You're in this scene. Why can't they just let me take the cover off and clean it? I want to remove all that dead biomatter dust build up garbage. So gross. And also leaves, maybe. Come out, do not remove. Okay. I suppose. Toss, sort of. So how would I, I don't know. How did, what's it? So here's my conundrums. I want to lift this off so I can get out the, the actual heat exchanger. The front one is accessible and it's not all that dirty. I mean, a little dirty. I'll be doing some of that tonight, cleaning it like that. But I want to get in there and get the caked up stuff. Because this is the one where the air first passes through it. It does the heat exchanging with the air inside of the house that it pulls in. All right. All right, guys, check it out. So the styrofoam bit, which is this bit, it pulls the air in through here and removes some of the heat from it. And it blows the air up through here and blows it out at you. And then these, these copper coils over here on the sides, and those actually run all the way to the back. So these, these are bringing some of the heat to the back and outside air gets pulled in through the sides, blown through this fan, and it pulls more heat out of your house through these copper coils and blows that outside. But that part is dirtier, way dirtier than this part because this has a cleanable filter that I clean like once a month or so. That does not. So that's pulling dirty outside air and blowing it all over and making everything a garbage mess. And there's another screw. I can't blame other me. He would not have seen that. And I probably won't be able to show you in film because it's down in there. How do I get at it? And how would I put it back later? That's a problem for future me. Come out, come out, come out, screw, come out. Got it. Just want to lift up now? Kind of, sort of. Oh, well, let's see how much I can do like this. Nothing, I can bear it scrapes it, but I'm not getting a good angle at it and I'm bending the fins. Where are you still being held down? Come here, light. It's so handy when you're filming and you have a light thing. And you can grab it and shine it down the holes of things, I guess. Mm. I found another screw. Thank you, light. You light up my life. The struggle is real. There should be a hashtag in front of that. 
There we go. Every time I remove another screw, it teases me. It's like, oh, you got it? I'm gonna start it coming out now. No, I'm not. Get out of here, leaves. This is kind of like taking apart some laptops, like a Toshiba. You think you have all the screws, but you don't. I don't know if I could just lift the heat exchanger out. That might be magic. Magical times. Ugh. Move the camera for a more better angle of the nightmare that is now occurring. I'm probably destroying my window AC right now as we speak. But the amount of like caking up and crap on here. It, so I'm just surprised that I even got was getting slightly colder than inside air coming out of the AC. Focus! See the nightmare? See the scary? Not for children's eyeballs? And where I scraped it earlier? Where's that bucket? And the eye protection, because I'm such a mad scientist. Starting about last year, this thing would be always like, yes, master, here is some cold air, not actually. Let's see what we can do about that. Because I have all the screws taken out for this, and there's two screws, one here on the very end that doesn't hold the top on, it holds this in, and one on the other side. Took those out, so I'd be able to lift this up a little bit to like edge this out, and I'll probably bent the copper pipes on the other side. We'll check later. Well, that scrapes off real nice. You know, another optional thing is a mask. And, you know, now that we're almost out of the human malware problem, we should have a lot of masks around. Look at that. It's like tearing up that stuff that goes under the carpet. Weird. You know, don't do it that way. You're bending all the, the things. Don't bend the things. Do it the satisfying way. Just below the edge of the top and push down. I'm using the sharp side. Well, if you can see what I'm doing, the side that goes right into it. This is a plastic uh, putty knife. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll find one on Amazon and throw it in the description. Somehow, some way, we get the bucket. Mad scientist goggles for the laughs. They serve no actual purpose in this, perhaps. This is satisfying. This reminds me of how I periodically clean the graphics cards that I mine Ethereum with. But mining cryptocurrency sucks. And if you're into that, you can Check out this card later after you're done watching this video. Get more laughs out of my shenanigans. Dang. That's a night and day's difference. Thumbnail. That's okay, circuit diagram. I understand. I won't leave you soggy soaked with bleach and a dish soap in two gallons of water mixture that I had the math to figure out the ratios. Dear, you're all cleaned up. You're better. Fan blades. I'm wiping off my fan blades. I don't know of another line that rhymes with fan blades. So I'm just gonna let it go. I didn't need mad scientist goggles after all. Well, I've got all that put back together, the rear heat exchanger put back in its spot and all the screws are in that hold down the, its cover. Let's see how satisfying it is to clean off the front heat exchanger, which is barely dirty at all in my opinion. It cleans so easy. You need to invent a way where you can have a filter for the back one that you take out and clean that as well. Man, this is so satisfying. 
Now, put it all back together. And it's put together with my time travel powers, apparently. And uh, I'm wearing different color gloves now. Well, maybe I could show you something about the front cover, but maybe not. There's only a tiny bit of dust in it and you can't really see it. But it's hard to get out. The air in my house gets greasy a little bit, maybe because there's no exhaust when I'm cooking. And this is the only thing that gets the dust off of mine. I'll find some and put a, a, a link in the description so you can check it out if you want. Click it, it's down there. Got anything greasy? I clean the, the top of the oven with this and the walls next to the oven makes the grease come right off. I don't know about you guys, but this, this video is very satisfying for me. I wasn't able to film it because of the weird shooting angles and the awkwardness, but I also cleaned the dust off of the fans. It's two of them inside of that thing. Like that's gonna matter to its performance at all. Maybe negligible. It wasn't a huge buildup like you would get like on computer fans. I just have like this innate need Whenever I'm taking something apart, if it's got fans, the fans got to get cleaned, you know, from working on computers for all these years. Now the actual crustiness. There's a trick with this. Put it upside down so the, the, the part that faces the front is now down. I rinse it. And it pushes all the dust through. And it does pretty much it. Since I use a screen in my drainer, you can see this. False glory. Ew. Apparently it must be congratulations. Look at me time because I've reinstalled the windows AC in the window so it can have AC. Oh, look who it is. Yeah, I took a shower. I can see that. I, um, we were all hot and sweaty. Yeah, um, go, um, I guess we glitched really quick that time. It happens. Okay. Well, I'm tired, so, um, I'm gonna go. Why did he have to, he could have just not existed or whatever. It was mic'd and everything, huh? Well, I'm gonna turn this on, give it a while for the condenser to warm up or whatever it does. I don't know, because it takes a while to get cold, and we'll see how it does. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's see how it's doing. All right, moment of trust. Sweetness, fifty freaking forty-nine. It's nice. Yes! Well, that's that. Some fancy B-roll at the end with my fancy gimbal. Ooh, look at my now working again window AC. It's so awesome. Get subscribed for more shenanigans and random tech that I work on. Yes, this is technology. Shut up! Well, why? I didn't have to be like that. I guess that's good because now we can do my awkward end screen because lately I've been awkward during my end screens for some reason. And I'm standing here in my bathrobe. I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. Stop looking at me. Stop.